<laughs> Hello. How's it going? What's up? How are you? What's good? I've had a haircut. I'm Ben. It's summer. Who's Connor? <laughs> it's the FPD Roundup. <laughs> Back by unpopular demand, we're on your screen giving you an update about everything we've been up to with Failure by Design Records for the first part of 2017. So let's get on with it. Sticking to our word in the last video, we've released two really good records this year. Very cool. Weather State's been keeping busy this year so far, doing a lot of writing for our next release. Everything we've heard thus far with the demos has sounded amazing. Due to the demand and popularity of the record, we are very pleased to release the 12 inch vinyl pressing of Dumbstruck. This record's awesome, it's so cool to finally have it on these amazing red and white splatter 12 inches. The B-side has their Dead Ends EP that was released before they even with the label on it as well. Lovely little treat. More or less everything the band has ever released thus far can be found on this plastic circle. In February, the band released a new single called Sympathy that was uh, debuted and premiered on the Daniel P. Carter Radio 1 rock show, Top Luck. They also went on tour in support of that single later on in February, and it was really, really fun. They played a Green Day cover, it was stupid. <laughs> nice. After much smoke and mirrors from ourselves, we finally got to release the debut guillotine record entitled Sapphire. After working for months and months with the band behind the scenes in the lead up to releasing the record, we finally managed to get their 12 inch EP Sapphire out into the world. The record's amazing. It's five intense tracks of like moody alt rock. I'm not really doing it justice describing it like that, but I feel like everyone that's heard it so far like gets that this, this is a very important, very exciting band. The band played their first ever live show, which also coincidentally happened to be their EP launch show in London, and it was terrific. What a night. It was a fun night. It was a comfortable sellout and everyone had a really nice time and we sold a load of records, so. So many people came out to it. Every band that played was incredible. Everyone responded so well to the record being out. And that really set them up for what came next as their second show was uh, opening for the main uh, at a sold out electric ballroom. We don't like to think these <laughs> bands can just come in here and have an easy ride. We thought maybe a couple weeks after releasing the record it was a good idea to make them play in front of 900 people. Absolutely. It's great to see that the band can go onto a bigger stage and perform and their, so and their songs sound fantastic on a, on a huge stage. Yeah, three weeks apart they played in a dingy basement to like a legendary venue in London. And <laughs> neither sounded like weird or out of place. We watched them play in a kitchen like three days ago. Yeah. And that was also sick. Planning and penciled in a lot more shows, so this is a band that you're going to be seeing a lot more of over the next six months. Off to save the day. I told you I has been keeping really busy at the start of this year, working on a load of really cool new material. They've been playing basically a bunch of shows, that's their whole plan for the year to get out and play as many shows as possible, road test new material, and win the hearts and the minds of the country, like a political party. <laughs> <laughs> Vote I told you I'd eat. <laughs> they are currently um, planning and gearing up for their next UK and first ever European tour with our pals in Sibling. It's gonna be well cool. They are the first band that we've ever worked with to go on a mainland European tour and it's a really proud moment. Germany, um, you're gonna love them. <laughs> They're gonna love them! Uh, and then they come back after that and they are opening for Converge at ATG. <laughs> Handpicked by Jacob Bannon himself. <laughs> they are gonna be playing a bunch of shows with our other friends in orchards around those dates. I told Jodi he was playing a bunch of shows this summer all over the UK and a handful of dates in Europe as well. It's gonna be really cool. The new material they're playing sounds amazing. So make sure you can get there. And if you can't get to a show, I'm First of all, a bit disappointed because they're playing so many shows. But uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled because there'll be some new stuff coming soon. <laughs> 
Speaking of Europe. With the news that I told you that you were going to Europe, it's been really fun to announce that Weberstay are also going to Europe with Waster. They're playing four dates in Germany and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be lit AF. Yeah, Just before they go to Europe as well, they're going to be playing a short run in the UK in August with our pals in Muskets. Not unlike I told you, Aditi, Weather State has been working on loads of amazing new material. Everything we've heard has sounded so cool. The riffs are better, all the drums sound amazing. Harry's like melodies are sicker than ever. We're really, really excited for mm. this new stuff and we're excited for you to hear it too. So if you can, make sure you get to their dates. This summer they're playing, yeah, UK with muskets and they're playing a bunch of shows in Germany with Waster. Maybe they'll play some new songs. Maybe. Who knows? You'll know if you go. <laughs> Employee of the month, Germany. As well as all the bands in the UK, our pals Stateside, Acid Tongue have been keeping really busy lately. They've uh, played South by Southwest and just released a double A side with a monstrous stoner rock jam. You'll remember we released two EPs from Acid Tongue last year. I Died Dreaming and Beautiful Disaster. Two fantastic records just full of like good times, summer bangers. And it's summer, so you should listen to them and have a good time and bang. And maybe it's time they came over this side of the world. I mean, they're keeping busy in the States, you maybe. know. Let's hope they've not forgot about the UK and Europe. A. Honorary mention goes to our friends at Gunshy who released their second EP, The Long Dance. It's uh, really fun. They've outdone themselves on this one. First transmission we released in 2016, mm -hmm. last year. It was a great record and a fantastic introduction to the band, but they've really gone down some avenues I don't think anyone was expecting them to. Mm. It's all tracked live, it yeah. sounds amazing, that's a band that in the live environment absolutely flourishes. Yeah. So it's it's great to hear them captured so perfectly on the record. Nice. <laughs> also, the start of this year, we had to say goodbye to Losing Sleep, who called it a day. We had a really good time working with Losing Sleep. Uh, we released their album, Fear of Missing Out, in 2016. They're a band that hold a special place in our heart. They're like some of the sweetest people who had the pleasure of working with. Thanks for everything you've done, and thanks for the shows, thanks for the memories, and obviously... R.I.P. Yeah. Love Knife Alive. If I listen to the words I used to write Tell me that I always wanted this kind of life We take comfort in the confidence that gets us by Keep living like we're running out of time We signed Lincoln Park We're gearing up for festival season at the moment which is going to be really good We're at 2000 Trees and Arc Tangent again this year slinging merch Got a little store going on uh, this year we will have the first ever FBD zine available at 2000 Trees. That's right. We don't have a copy of it yet because it's in production. We love festival season. We love getting to go to festivals. Having our store there is like a total treat. A lovely little treat. Getting to hang out with people that have an interest in our label is amazing. So if you're going to 2000 Trees Festival, if you're going to Art Tangent Festival, if you're going to Always the Sun Festival in Guildford, Make sure you stop by the merch area, come say what's up, pick up some records, have, have a drink with us. Um, give us a drink. Give us a beer. If you're at Arc Tangent Festival, make sure you go catch I Told You I'd Eat You. They're playing on Friday on the Bixel stage. It's going to be awesome. Converge. Nice. Cool announcement coming soon to a time near you. Cool stuff soon. Here I go with the vagueness. Yeah. We're going to be working with a... And it's going to be the new... And it's just, honestly, you're gonna lose your... It's sick. You're just gonna think I did that in post. What was the point of me even doing that? I could've just said it. It wasn't in post, but <laughs> other things probably are in post. Like this explosion! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about all we've got to talk about in this update video. If you watched this far, thank you very much. If you were looking forward to this anyway, that's awesome. Are you just having a swig? I'm trying to do a sincere outro, you're just swigging. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for keeping updated. Thanks for getting this far. Um, remember it's summer, so stay hydrated. Don't do drugs. Have fun. Stay safe. Buy our records. Hopefully see you this summer at one of the many UK festivals we're attending. And if not, see you on the internet. Bye!